Hey guys, welcome back. I have brought you in just in time for the moment of truth. I'm going to see if this very cheap glass cutter, I think I paid less than $10, but it could have been $13 or $14. Uh, this very cheap glass cutter can cut through quarter inch thick mirror. Now I've cut through some really thin stuff. I think it was like 16th inch. So this is four times thicker than the only thing I've used for this so far. But I have my straight edge clamp down in place, four clamps, hopefully it doesn't wiggle anywhere, and we are ready to use this. I put a little bit of oil on it, actually use pneumatic, pneumatic oil, that's the only oil I have in my shop. So we'll see how it goes. All right. A nice, even pressure. You can hear it scoring the glass. Ooh. Okay, I guess we will try uh, cutting the, the mirror a little bit thinner. It broke cleanly across about two thirds of the mirror, but then took off too much right there. Let's see. All right. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, the mirror doesn't even fit in these notches, which is probably the sign that this mirror is too thick to break with this cutter. But we're going to keep on giving it the old college try. We made a little bit of progress. I certainly don't recommend this method. That's not. Time's a charm, and we'll claim that this is the third time. It's the third time cutting. Okay, we haven't ruined it yet. Let's see what happens here. Okay, we're still okay. We're still okay. Should I get hopeful? Mm, probably not. <laughs> Oh, 
Let's see. What about a block and a hammer? Will this do any better than just the hammer? Yeah, well that time. If you enjoyed this video, uh, maybe learn something from it, maybe something you want to try, maybe something you don't want to try, uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Have a great week, and as always, get out there and make some sawdust. Honestly, wasn't sure if the mirror was just going to shatter to pieces as I did that. All right, next week, building a frame for it. See ya!